Hello, this is a trade site trade recap. I wanted to talk about uh, the market on Tuesday, May 14th, 2013. I'm going to be looking at some charts from eSignal here. Show you first what the market did and then talk about a trade call that we made in Google uh, for the day that worked out real well for us and how the market sort of guided us to that move. So here's a look at the five minute chart of the ES. This is the S&P 500 futures, mini futures contract on the market. And you can see this is uh, both the Tuesday and the Monday, the day before. So we got a little gap up this morning uh, here in the futures and uh, immediately started to surge higher. And what you'll notice is this is just such a straight up move. Almost had no, uh, with the exception of this bar right here, never went under the low of a prior five minute bar. This is really unusual strength to see out of the gate in the morning. Uh, the gap wasn't huge, but we didn't fill it. Uh, but it's just amazing to watch the market climb like this so specifically and steadily for the first 90 minutes of trade or so. And and basically what you get here is we get a nine bar setup right out of the gate, the first nine bars, and then our Comer tool, which then goes back and starts looking for a 13 sell signal. You'll notice that the pause point was the sell, uh, the, the, the Comer sell signal right here. Uh, pretty amazing to get a move like that and top out short term. Uh, right at that count. You then got a pink risk line and a couple things with this risk line. Uh, if you go above it, that sort of negates the 13 cell signal. You'll see right here on this bar, we hit it to the tick, to the tick on the ES. That's amazing. To get a confirmed break of this line, you have to trade above it, close, and then take out the high of the bar. And, and we did not. We got another nine bar setup phase topped out right there and moved back under. We again used this risk line as resistance late in the lunch hour and it wasn't until the afternoon that we finally broke this risk line. So the Comer tool really showed you in this strong strength early on, this really strong move that we got in the market, uh, Comer really gave you the high. Now let's take a look at Google. This is 15 minute bars and I just want to show you, uh, I'm flatten this thing out to 5 minute bars as well. But If we take the, uh, the highs of Google from yesterday, what you're going to see is, this was the high blue line. What we looked at today was a long call just above that 882.25. That's the breakout over the nice basing action from yesterday. Now keep in mind, Google's got their big uh, conference going on this week. The, the big keynote is tomorrow. So obviously there's a lot of interest. You may get a uh, buy the rumors, sell the news type of move. But again, just knowing that that was out there allowed us to really look at the long side of Google and say, hey, is there a good technical entry point for this stock today, and I just switched to five minute bars. Mm -hmm. and, and the fact that the market was so strong out of the gate, Google did not gap, it opened very close to yesterday's close and started heading up immediately. And you can, you can see the strength, you saw the strength in the market, there was no sign of, of letting up. And so with Google here, we, we took the long call over that 882, I guess it was 882.50 actually, is, is about where that lines up. And uh, it went all the way to almost 889 off of that move. Pretty straightforward move. Again, once we get in the money and we take a piece of the trade off, we use the prior five minute bar low, sort of tighten our stop up, and that would not have stopped you out until about 887 and a half. So, five point move in Google, pretty clean and early, guided by both the futures and the strength in the futures, the market in general, and this nice base breakout of Google heading into their conference. So, uh, real clean trade, but this is uh, definitely the type of stuff we look for. And again, the futures, the Comer tool gave us basically the point where the market was stalling out as well. And this is also where Google stalled out. If you look at that Comer back on the ES, it was right here around 11 p.m., 11 a.m. Eastern, right here, and that Google had already stalled out just ahead of that. So good trade for us overall for the session.